11 Colombian soldiers were killed by FARC rebels in south, the southwestern Cauca province. That's despite a four-month-old unilateral ceasefire declared by the group amid peace talks with the government. 18 other government troops were wounded in the attack, which the FARC says was a response to intense anti-guerrilla operations in the area. The FARC has been in peace negotiations with the government for more than two years, and in recent weeks there had been talk of both sides agreeing to a joint ceasefire. A commander of the FARC and participant of the peace dialogues in Cuba questioned the actions of the Colombian military. Manifestamos nuestra preocupación regarding some fighting in Cauca. Everything has a cause, and in this case, incoherence on behalf of the government for ordering military operations against the guerrilla while it is taking part in a ceasefire. We give condolences to the families and call on national reflection. The FARC negotiator Pastor Alape called once again on the Colombian president Juan Manuel, Santa, Juan Manuel Santos to call a bilateral ceasefire. Tomamos we take the written word of the president on his Twitter today, where he expresses regret at the death of soldiers in Cauca. This is the war we are precisely trying to stop. We call on the president, from the peace table, to call a truce, a bilateral ceasefire. It's urgent for the nation. The country is waiting for this. And following the attack, Colombia's President Juan Manuel Santos has ordered the resumption of bombing raids against FARC rebels. Santos has had suspended such attacks in March for one month and only last week he extended the suspension for a further month. He says the attack by the FARC, which also killed a FARC fighter, would not go unpunished. A los actores de este... We are going to pursue those responsible for this despicable act. I have ordered the armed forces to lift the suspension of the bombings on frac camps until further notice. And the killing of those 11 soldiers has triggered different reactions as well as the lifting of the suspension of airstrikes against the FARC. Natalia Margarita now in Colombia brings us more on this story. A number of different reactions have followed the killing of 11 soldiers in Colombia's troubled state of Cauca in an incident that takes place as the government and the FARC rebels hold negotiations to bring to an end this country's armed conflict. This sort of incident underlies the need to intensify the negotiations. The whole point of peace negotiations is to put an end to uh, acts of war. While some Colombian sectors have taken advantage of this latest incident to discredit the peace process, other political leaders and movements have said such events are right the reason why a definitive cessation of hostilities needs to be urgently agreed upon. Instead of thinking on lifting the negotiations, what is needed is the implementation of a bilateral ceasefire. We don't need any further lives lost. Member of the Advisory Commission for Peace, Clara Lopez, agrees this shall be the opportunity to understand the importance importance of achieving peace rather than jeopardizing the current negotiation efforts. It is very dangerous to jump to conclusions as uh, the enemies of the peace process have jumped into conclusions. Uh, what I have as a certainty is that the leaders that are negotiating in La Habana have a commitment with the peace process. After a unilateral ceasefire implemented by the FARC since December last year, member of this group peace delegation, Pastor Alape, have referred to the latest incident by saying that the only way to prevent further victims is through the agreement on a bilateral ceasefire. The solution to the conflict is not war. That was already tried during the eight years of the previous government. Now peace must be given a chance. As President Santos have reacted to the killing of the soldiers by lifting the suspension of air strikes on FARC positions, peace advocates keep on insisting on a bilateral ceasefire as the very only way to prevent these incidents from happening in the future. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá.